Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a new week and this is the this is the third day of the week. And we praise God for his faithfulness. He has given us another day to live and glorify him and serve him and enjoy his blessings and his presence. This morning I would like to meditate with you very briefly from the gospel according to st luke chapter 2 verse 52 we have these words recorded in this passage and jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and men now as you embark on the beginning beginning of uh, Uh, another day and um, as we look forward to the activities of this day i pray that uh, this meditation time will strengthen you and increase your faith and uh, um, this this is a story about jesus and his parents and which is a uh, very exciting and challenging i want to leave with you a uh, few thoughts on finding favor with god and men now remember there are three days of meditation and all these three days we will be meditating on this passage only now how to find a favor with god and with men all of us have dreams and ambitions and the above passage that we read from the holy bible speaks volumes about the life of jesus christ before he began his ministry in public and uh, began his life in public at the age of 30 now it is very exciting a passage from which we can draw some very valuable lessons for our own life being perfect god humbled himself to become a man and lived his life purely as a man and he did this to set an example for the rest of humanity of a man in whom god was well pleased now that is important for all of us to realize that a life that is pleasing to god will find favor both with god and with men much of the preparation process for jesus occurred in the obscurity of the everyday activity of life he lived an ordinary life like all the rest of us and everyday people we may learn from his 30 years of life that favor with god and men does not begin with extraordinary records and there is no record of a Jesus performing any miracles during these 40 uh, 30 days i mean 30 years neither do we have a record of how he lived such a, uh, a well lived life pleasing to god it begins with the living each day faithfully before the lord God almighty now that is important take note of it even in the obscurity 
those hidden years which was not public life but as an everyday person he lived the text we have read here says he kept on increasing in wisdom it all begins with living each day faithfully before the lord which is a possible duty for all of us or for any one of us who wants to find favor with god and with people and this is also in perfect present and it's a continuous process of growth increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and men here in one simple sentence are given four major fields of a man's activity and growth what are they mental physical spiritual and social these are the four fields in which a person must grow and not downward but grow increase and go upward each occupies an important place in man's advancement toward perfection now which ultimately reveal your character please understand the growing and increasing in these four areas of our life will form the character of god which is perfected when we fully grow very satisfied and at this striving toward perfection is missing which is the reason for the increased wickedness and immorality causing much heartache and fear among us and that is the problem of today's generation mental or physical growth without spiritual growth i want you to take note of it you may grow in all other areas sector unless it is joined to the spiritual growth results and without spiritual growth results in producing men and women without character now how important is character character formation is everything in a person's life the absence of a spiritual character is a destructive it produces tragedies heartaches dividing humanity and therefore all of us like our lord and savior jesus christ can and must continue to advance all the days of our lives as we grow physically our mental capacity and our knowledge and our uh, our, 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 our everything must grow and increase in all that really matter how shall we do this so remember all the days of our lives we must strive to gain growth in these above mentioned areas now how shall we continue to increase in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and men it's not about finding 
favor with men alone you know that can be attained we may gain this perhaps by giving some money or do something which will benefit the other person people may even find us knowledgeable or intelligent but that will not to make you a person in whom god will be well pleased remember that and unfortunately many are taking this route which ultimately leads to ruin and destruction we try to develop our physically we try to develop in knowledge we try to develop in uh, reasoning in our own way but if these things are not connected and joined to the spiritual growth it will only lead us to ruin and cause in destruction to others as well and that's what we see all around us so how do we the there is no shortcut to forming character and this is the only way you can develop character within yourself which ultimately makes you a person who is wanted and needed and respected and admired So may the Holy Spirit truly help us. And we need to seek the Holy Spirit every day therefore and be filled with the Holy Spirit because remember he is a spirit of knowledge as well as spirit of wisdom. Oh Lord our God we need the Holy Spirit to develop this character and in order to develop character Lord we need to grow inward in our inward person strong have principles in life and follow those good bible based principles thank you father for helping us today may this day's life we be pleasing to you and in your sight thank you Amen. This is a good day my friends. Enjoy this day. And at the end of this day, let there be a satisfying feeling that you have grown. God bless you. Because that's what God wants.